More? Okay. How's that? I turned it up like a chunk. So, hopefully that's better. Good. Okay, cool. Okay. This cello? <laughs> nice. Oh my god, this cello. That top note, oh my god. Those low horns. It didn't win any soundtrack awards, really? Let's listen to that one one more time and then we'll move on to the second one. Just because I want to talk about it a little bit. So this cello is such good writing and it's so fucked up how good it is. Witcher 3, gotcha. Do you think composers are aware of the sounds the bosses make? Yes, absolutely. I think in a lot of cases, it's... I'll finish that thought in a second. This, there's a really gorgeous texture to this. And also worth pointing out is that this cello is, hang on. That rip in that top note is so good. This is really high up in this, the range of a cello. So it has this like really, textured, thin sort of feeling to it, which is really cool. Uh, Monsundo, thank you for the follow. It's just so good. It's just good. That cello, it's so nice. And this little interlude. That's so good. Okay. Let's move on to the next one, which is Holy Blade, right? Which will be right there. Cool. It just auto played. I haven't, Goulash. The, the fact that you take time to appreciate the music. Oh, G. Kelly, thank you so much. I'm glad that you enjoy it. The I know. These horns. 
This is very like suiting to that sword coming out, right? Like the first one is this kind of like broken, fucked up thing. And this one, like it comes out with the full kind of hero. Like it's like he remembers who he is, right? Those in this, the high strings. It's so good. Oh my god, the violence are just fucking shredding up there, too. Oh my god. That horn. So, okay. Right, like I said, like we have this, um, oh my God, that top note. This relationship between the first theme is like a little bit more understated. You have this like very dark cello part that's kind of like thin and you have this like very broken boss. Like it's just very fucked up what happened to him. And so having that cut scene where he pulls out the sword and yeah, like seems to remember who he is and you get this like incredibly full on, very horn heavy theme that's written more like a hero riding into battle more than the fucked up first phase. Uh, Dumble, hello, thank you for the lurk. Um, is really cool, it's really good writing. Also, these rhythms in the horns are juicy. There's no one good in any of this, but Ludwig is convinced. Yeah, like, uh, it has a very, like, dark kind of heroic tone to it, horns. A lot of these intervals are very much the kind of intervals that you would build a hero's theme off of, but there's still this darkness to it, right? It's cool. As a musically enough person, I appreciate you be able to understand tracks to people with music understanding. I'm glad you're enjoying, Puppet. Um, oh my god, it's just so fucking good. This repeated too, I think it looped. That's sick.